Test demands six things. Number one, hard work. Don't believe in luck, believe in hard work. Two, patience. If you are losing the patience, then you are losing the battle. Three, sacrifice. If you don't sacrifice for what you want, then what you want becomes the sacrifice. Four, consistency. Consistency is what transforms average into excellence. Five, discipline. Motivation gets you going, but discipline keeps you growing. Six, and last, self-confidence. Confidence is not like the will like me. Confidence is I'll be fine if they don't like me. Okay. Okay. Hi, Ricardo. Where'd you get this? This is cool. How to, um, how to be optimizing to be race day performance on two miles swimming from Mosa Beach Pier to Manhattan Beach Pier. Optimizing your race day performance for a two mile swim from Hermosa Beach Pier to Manhattan Pier involves a combination of physical preparation, mental strategies, and practical logistics. Here are some key tips. Training plan. Build endurance. Incorporate long distance swims in an open water to the race conditions. Aim for at least one swim of the full race distance. Number two, interval training. Include high intensity interval training to improve speed and cardiovascular fitness. Strength training. Focus on upper body, core, leg strength to enhance your swimming power and stability. Two, technique. Stroke efficiency. Work on your stroke technique to reduce drag and increase propulsion. Consider getting feedback from a coach. Breathing. Practice bilateral breathing to balance your stroke and adapt to changing conditions. Sighting. Practice sighting techniques to swim straight and minimize extra distance. Three, open water skills. Acclimatization acclimation. Swim in the ocean regularly to get used to the salt water, waves, and currents. Drafting. Practice swimming close to other swimmers to take advantage of drafting and conserve energy. Starts and finishes. Practice your race start and finish to get used to the rush and the sprint at the end. Mental preparation. Visualization. Visualize the race course, the conditions, and your performance. Imagine yourself swimming smoothly and efficiently. Positive self-talk. Develop a set of positive affirmations to keep you motivated and focused during the swim. Relaxation techniques. Practice deep breathing, meditation, or other relaxation techniques to stay calm and composed. One, nutrition, pre-race meal, eat a balanced meal two to three hours before the race, focusing on carbohydrates, proteins, and healthy fats. Hydration, stay well hydrated in the days leading up to the race. Drink water or electric drinks before the swim. Number two, gear wetsuits or bathing suits, goggles, choose a pair of comfortable leak-proof goggles with good visibility, cap, race cap is provided at the race. Number three, race day, arrive early. Get to the race site early to check in, warm up, and familiarize yourself with the course and conditions. Warm up. Do a proper warm up to get your muscle ready and your heart rate up. Include 
some dynamics to a chisen short sweat. Pacing. Start at comfortable pace and gradually build up speed. Avoid going out too fast to prevent early fatigue. Monitor conditions. Pay attention to the water conditions such as currents and waves and adjust your strategy accordingly. Post race. Number one, cool down. Do a gentle swim or some light stretching to help your muscle recover. Number two, refuel. Eat a snack or meal with a good balance of protein and carbohydrates to replenish your energy stores. Number three, hydrate. Continue to drink water or electric drinks to stay hydrated by focusing on these areas you'll be well prepared to optimize your performance on race day good luck with your swim Thank mm-hmm. you.